Hello everybody and welcome back to Age of Wonders Planetfall. You might notice that some things are a little different. We're still in the campaign mode. We are on basically the same turn. I believe we left off on turn 20. We're now on turn 21. But somewhere in experimenting with different scenarios, I lost my campaign save file. So I had to play the campaign back up to the turn we were at. We've got the same quest going on, so we are still building the food sectors for Zhang. Uh, we're still trying to convince him of a ceasefire and reach an alliance. And we are, right now we're working on the second quest for Sina, which is to pay her a thousand energy. We only have 328 energy right now, so that's probably going to take a little while for us to complete that. So, and this time I've left the hero alone. I did not import my custom character from the first, so that's a little different too. Uh, the interesting thing is every time you start a campaign, it generates a different world with different spawns. So even playing through again, we're probably a little better prepared now for what lies ahead. Uh, but it was still unfortunate. I played a bunch of different campaigns, to not campaigns, scenarios rather, with the different classes to familiarize myself with the races and whatnot. And somehow overwrote my save file. So we're going to make sure that does not happen again. Right now, we'll jump into a battle with these thieves here. And I'll show you some of the different units that we have. Some things are the same, but we have a couple a couple of big differences. For instance, this time, uh, Den Yuzhang is in a tank. So, that's interesting. And what are we up against here? It looks like we've got some troopers. These guys look like they have plasma repeaters. Let's take a look. Vanguard purifiers, plasma repeaters. It's going to have seven range. It's, it's incendiary, so it could start burning, which we don't want. Let's go ahead and get into position here and set up some overwatches. If they move to their max range, they'll be able to reach us pretty easily, but chances are they're not going to move right to their max range. Uh, the motorbike, I'm going to swing around this way. The assault bike, rather. The tank can't overwatch. But I want it to be in a position to shoot. I don't want to move it behind this wall. Let's just go ahead and park it right here for now. And I wonder with this being a large unit, with it being a heavy unit, if it could be used as cover by other units. I believe that it could. Yes. So this can actually be used as cover. Which is pretty great, actually. Will it work out great? I don't know. Got some full cover over here. I don't want to be by anything red because that means it, ha it can explode and do damage. So let's not post anybody up there. Uh, these are engineers. They can go ahead and set up a turret out here. And that turret is going to then be able to overwatch right away. Pretty good. Let's get him into cover over here. I see that they have overwatch up basically where we're at. Might be a game of patience with these guys if we both overwatch. Let's get over here. And we'll just leave these guys back for now and see what happens. That was strange. Not sure what happened to the sound there. Ah, 
Not so bad. Unfortunately, it canceled their Overwatch. Yikes. Got a little too close with that unit. They're moving back, that's interesting. And then forward again? That's weird. Triggered the other overwatch in the back, but we're not having a lot of luck with hitting our overwatch shots. We were set up pretty good to trigger Overwatch on this side, but none of them hit, so... Operations available. At least he went after the turret. I'm okay with that. Probably want to get her... out of the fire, at least. No line of sight. Will this blow up all of this? Nice, nice. I like that. That was cool. That was cool. Where am I going to want this guy? He can heal, so we might want to throw out a heal. Not on the turret, though. Maybe on these guys. That'll keep them in it. Let's take some shots here. Uh, now no melee overwatch here, so we should be able to attack with the turret. Oh no, it did have it did have a melee overwatch. Unit has fallen. Usually the sword is up there before we attack as an indicator. I didn't see it that time, but that's okay. It's only a turret. No big deal. This guy can't get any shots. Let's just pull him in. These troopers could get shots, but it would put them out in the open. That might be okay. These troopers don't have a shot. Unless we come close, we're only going to have one shot at a high percentage or we take the 65% chance let's take this they're flanked we could finish them off there we go enemy annihilated I don't want to clump them all up let's see do they have anything that like a grenade toss yeah they could toss these plasma bombs with a one hex radius so right now we're probably gonna get plasma bombed here as it is I want to keep these guys out of that, if I can. No, I definitely want to have that guy overwatch, though. Just in case anybody moves. That's such a bad shot. Let's at least get him over here. Enemy neutralized. Looks like we can get a shot at these troopers. Not a great shot. We'd have to basically step out in the open here. Still a graze on a 90%. Not very good. I think we're okay, though. I don't think they'll be able to finish anybody off. Maybe. It's close. And now let's see if he throws the plasma grenade. Now he just pumped three shots into Dudeu in her tank. Let's take the 80% shot.
Enemy annihilated. I don't know how much damage we'll get into these guys. Let's see what we can do. We might be able to just finish them off this turn. Oh, definitely. Okay. When you have the numbers, you just Enemy have destroy. you just have more numbers. You just get more shots. They never stood a chance. It's easier to win, obviously. Even if the power level is similar, having more units definitely helps. Oh, uh, we got an Imperial Sniper Rifle. That's very interesting. Objective complete. We'll take that. So we destroyed the Pirate Hideout for Paragon Faction. Static Bomb. Deals damage in the one hex. Applies one stack of Static Charge. Okay. That's clear. Let's pick up this stash here. Some production. Things that we're working on more long term. We need to eventually pay her this thousand energy. Probably through the trade menu, I guess. We're trying to work on food exploitation sectors. And we need to explore Ferris Cal. Which is out that way. And we could probably send some of our owls out to do that. Let's have this army kind of start heading that way in case anything comes up that we need to take care of. It might be good to have our armies Objective over there. Objective complete. Alright, we created... Or we finished this quest for them. What else do we have going on? Happiness event in colony. Okay, we might need the recreation center. Probably help. We could prioritize that. And this city right now actually has nothing annexed. We need to work on that. I'm thinking maybe they could... Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, look. Xu Zhang owns it. Sector has already been claimed. Building here causes other commanders to gain Cassus Belly against you, making it easier for them to declare war. Independent factions may demand that you ignore their claims. We're going to build here and see what happens. We're pretty friendly with this guy, and I need to get this going so we can exploit food sectors for him. So maybe he'll understand. Empire task completed. Maybe he'll declare war on us. I don't know. Incoming communication. Uh, let's see. We could keep complimenting you. And build our relationship there, just in case we need it. Incoming communication. Okay, he's not angry yet. We'll see if next turn he changes his mind about that. Uh, this unit as well. I'm just going to keep sending, sending out this way. Towards our quest. Some other threats along the way that we might need to take care of. Oh, we've already claimed this sector. Uh, trying to think of where we could claim some more sectors, probably down to the south. But we need a couple more colonists, but we can make our way down there. And we'll have them cut through the mountains here. Uh, this is a single unit. I might want to team him up with this flying unit. We have the Vanguard gunship up here. No mods in it. We could change that. Interlocking armor. Yeah, if it's going to gain resistance to stagger. And yeah, we want that. And we want this nanite injectors as well. This is going to heal the unit for 15. 
It's also going to give us another armor, which I'm hoping stacks. Let's do that. All right, we can annex another sector now with Dubar. This has a radioactive fallout, nuclear fallout. So probably not a place we want to build, unfortunately. We could go over here. But I think the ruined territory might be a similar thing where we might have to take it from Hugh. Production ready. Uh, we will find that out though. I think I'm also going to have these guys group up. Start putting together another army. We can annex this. I'm not sure why we haven't already. We Oh, we have it as a landmark. Let's annex it. I need to get the food sectors going. might need to pump out a few more units but we also have to be conscious of saving energy to pay for completing the quest let's go with the guys with both the armor upgrade and the flechette mod so that they can deal bleeding damage And we could up our food sectors to give them plus one level. And eventually we'll probably need turrets, so we'll just queue that up. Sector annexed. I'm never more free than when I can unleash hell on the enemy from the skies above. We fly free. We fight free. We die free. So we can now make Vira the gunship Polo. and Vanguard. the vehicle gunship. So this is where we're at in our trees now. After having to play back through the campaign, the 20 turns we'd already played, it's a, it looks a little different than it looked before. Uh, what do we want to grab next? Rapid maneuverability. Jetpacks. Jetpacks just seem like, of course, I want a jetpack. What's uh, what's void technology? Non-mindless mindless units in the target army gain destabilized. Okay, we can open Void Rifts. Let's go with uh, Rapid Maneuverability, because Jetpacks. I might have to annex this with the Nuclear Fallout and just see what happens. They're going to keep making their way over here. Maybe I need to send them down here to see if we can annex another sector. We could just annex this sector. This is... There's no radiation here. It's got food, electricity, and production. We could do that. We did get the happiness under control. Let's keep throwing compliments at these guys. Cena, we love you. Don't go to war with us. We're working on your energy issue, but it's slow going. It's slow going because at the same time we have to focus on food. Just 
Just kind of curious to see what's going on in here, if anything. Oh, this is where we can, since we are at peace with them, we could actually buy their soldiers here with, actually with using influence, which is pretty interesting. We do have a spot open in the army here, so I'm actually going to pick up a soldier. They have one armor and they have an assault rifle, a grenade. Oh, they spawn way back at our city though. That's okay, we'll catch them up and we'll join them up with this army here. Oh, we're now available for trade, so we actually have some other stuff we could buy in the way of mods. Smart rounds when shooting at a target, this unit's firearm attacks ignore cover and the unit and unit in the way penalties. Ignores cover, that's interesting. These implants make the unit quicker on the battlefield, granting a 10% increased accuracy and critical hit chance, as well as making this unit 10% chance. Ten ch How could we pass that up? I'm going to grab that too. We can get a Fanatic. Paragon Blaster Pistol Overdrive. Or Heavy Soldier. Okay, we only have 107 influence left. I guess I don't want to go crazy here. But I feel like some of those mods were pretty darn good. Do we have anybody unmodded? We do. Let's put this in a couple of these guys. Drilled. We'll do three. Oh, we can only afford to do two. And then in the other one, let's do this. The unit becomes 20% harder to hit and gains detection. In addition, the unit's scanner range on the strategic map is increased by two hexes. And it's the Cosmite that we're running out of. Reputation changed to Incoming trustworthy. Incoming communication. Throw another compliment at Hugh here. For family, he's pretty needy, but it has been 200 years. So, what can you do? His turn's over. Um, let's go ahead and see. We can add an annexus for Sastin. Sector's claim building here causes other commanders to gain Cassus Belly against you, making it easier for them to declare war on you. Independent factions. Uh, this is the Paragons. I don't care too much about this. I mean, I care about it in the sense that I don't want to be at war with anybody, but I need this sector. So I'm just going to take it. I'm going to take it and see what they do about it. Chances are they'll do something about it at the worst possible moment. They're still asking us to do quests for them. Our great monuments and works of art attract a range of enemies. Our refined ways trigger rage in savage minds, as if smashing things they don't understand makes the world right to it for them. Five Quarzite units slain. Uh, it's, well, it's on our way in the sense that we can get to it with these guys without backtracking. So we'll just plan to move that way. Production ready. We can join them up together. Production ready. This time around, I did make sure early on to produce quite a few military units. 
Let's get that going, because we need that, so that we have units to replace fallen units. And I've lost a few less units as well in this playthrough, of course, having some experience from prior. Let's just make a standard trooper just to keep something going for our army. And let's go with the... Well, maybe we should generate some energy. Because if we don't start doing that, we're probably not going to be able to complete this quest for her. It doesn't have a turn timer on it, though, so... We'll see how long that ends sector up taking. Annexed. Okay, we got another sector annexed. And we'll do... Oh, we changed to neutral because we took that from the Paragon faction, that land we just annexed. And now they're going to make some demands. Ugh, energy. Okay, we'll do this. Um, it's going to set us back a little bit, but it puts us back to trustworthy, I guess. So that's fine. Let's see if we can have these guys move forward. And Oh, here we go, yeah. Yeah, we met him before. So we've already met him in the prior playthrough. This one went a little bit different, so. Objective complete. And now we've met all the commanders. So we were ahead, except for in this one part where we hadn't found this guy yet. And this was the last quest we had gotten. The geothermal instability threatens the Imperial Energy Complex in 43B. We have to remove it. And that's in society research, which I think, I think, yeah, we have this. So I did grab this this time around, so we are ahead in that sense. Hazard removal, that's what we need. And actually, we do need to have something going here. Let's do mountain exploitation. And this is where she tells us she was being watched. Okay. And now plot-wise, we are totally caught up. We're a couple turns ahead, and things have obviously gone a little differently. Uh, where can we send you? Probably just out this way. To join one of our armies. I worry about leaving the western side you know, defenseless, so to speak. Eventually, we'll probably have to do the standard military infrastructure and then get turrets. Uh, we're about to trespass. We don't want to do that. Don't want to trespass. Why are we trespassing? He just doesn't want us in this area. That's fine. We don't need to go there if we've accomplished what we were heading there to do. Um, absolutely fine. This is going to be two more population before we can grab that. And so his area starts here, I guess. What else could we do? We're working on everything. These guys, we could go down and we could deal with them. That's what we could do. We have her headed over there. Well, we could just use them. Let's head up here. And see what else we can uncover. It kind of freaks me out when the other factions are just kind of running around us. We know now that the different squad leaders have been employing Promethean weaponry throughout the planet. Hu Zhang mentioned the Molten Earth Arsenal, which had to be reconquered. So I would assume it is the supply base where those weapons are stored and manufactured. Sounds like a, a place we should pay a visit. I am still not sure if Valentine was mocking me when he referred to the Elysian Park, sending me on a wild goose chase through the deteriorating pleasure park. Sounds like something he'd enjoy. Still, I cannot ignore the possibility that he has a point. As opportunistic as he may be, Michael Valentine is still a vanguard officer. 
So we read that too. That's our next major objective, I guess, is finding the storage and exploring the parks. Okay, that's good. That gives us an overall destination. This is not too far away, which is perfect. And then we can cut over to the east. I think we're going to take a little bit of a break here, though. Really apologize that I somehow lost my save and had to catch us back up. I know things are different, and that's a little bit jarring, but the plot and everything we're basically on track with now. And we're ahead with a couple of different things. I feel like our army is much stronger. We have more military units. And I like that since, uh, you know, it helps us know that we can handle whatever trouble we get into, so to speak. So I hope you guys are still enjoying the series. As always, I really appreciate the support. Take care, and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.